Hi, I'm Dr. Proenza. I'm the CEO and founder of VetAhead. And today I want to talk to you about doing hard things in life. And of course, I'm going to talk about doing hard things in veterinary medicine too. And the reason I'm saying that to you is because I know you heard me saying, and if you haven't, what I say and what I preach is that we're supposed to be doing the same practice, the same level of medicine we practice for dogs and cats with exotic animals or zoo mat pets, as I call them. It shouldn't be different. But then the first thing I get in return is, but it is so hard. It's almost impossible. I, for example, I tried to intubate rabbits. I couldn't do it. Um, it's really hard. And I know, I get it. I'm not saying it's super easy, but it's also not super hard. Majority of times is because people don't have the correct technique or the correct equipment. It's like if I ask you to bake a cake, but I don't let you use the baking powder. How are you gonna do it? How is it gonna grow? You're gonna make a cake, but it's not gonna be fluffy and tasty, right? So if I show you how to do it with the correct equipment, it's gonna be way easier. And notice what I'm saying, it's gonna be easier. I did not say it's gonna be easy. But guess what? You've done hard things in life already. You've done so many hard things with dogs and cats that were by far not easy at all. But you did it. This is just one more skill to learn. Don't limit your brain. Say, no, this is impossible, I won't do it. Look of what you've done. First of all, you're either a technician or a veterinarian or a vet nurse. That on itself, it's already a very hard thing to accomplish. But look at the rest. I remember the first mastectomy I did on a dog. Oh my God, I, I vividly remember. I know the time of the day, I know what I was wearing, I know that I can see the OR. I wasn't able to close that dog. I, I was desperate. I saw the incision and remove all those tumors and I couldn't close it. It was so challenging. I had to ask for help. I, I mean, it was a mess. And then I think now doing other things like intubating a rabbit, that's nothing compared to what I've done. So we already done and we do on a daily basis hard things in life. Intubating my first dog wasn't easy. Placing Ivy Cata for the first time wasn't easy. Collecting blood wasn't easy, but we learned. And this is just one more skill. What we cannot do or we should not do is let, let the lack of skills compromise the quality of medicine we practice. So again, we can do it in a stepwise manner. It doesn't happen. It doesn't need to happen from night to day. There are many techniques and many ways to make the process easier. And it's not that difficult. And I guarantee you, you've done way more difficult things in life and in veterinary medicine than intubating a rabbit or any other skill you need to learn. Keep that in mind. DM me on Instagram. I want to know about your journey.